Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking sand! Do they still have those types of booths at Burning Man, like orgasm for an omelet and like eat out girls? And there was there was like an orgy tent. Yeah, yeah. there's an orgy dome and there's there's little things like that, but it's not mm, quite as over. Not quite as overt as you think. I mean, orgasm mm-hmm. for an omelet. No one's really having an orgasm. It's yeah. really just some old, some guy in a fedora going, come in, and everybody saying, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's true. And do you shower? You don't. You can't really shower at Burning Man, yeah? No, I, I have a proper... Tell them about Dr. Bronner's where we shower. That is pretty fun, actually. There's a camp that Dr. Bronner's does. You guys does. would hate it. The Soap Company. The Soap Company. They're a really progressive hippie company. Yeah. And uh, they're a cool company, I actually. like their eucalyptus soap. Well, I like the almond Mm -hmm. and they go out there every year. They have a big camp and they do like a big dome where they have a party and you have to wait in line. You line up for like hours to get in. And well, you're not in line naked. When you get into the dome, you 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 take off your clothes, and there's like a dancing situation where you're dancing naked with all these dancing. And a little more of a line when you're naked. And then they line you up and they put you into this transparent like box car. And it's kind of, and and then they they come up on top of the box car and they spray you with Dr. Bronner's foam. Mm. It's like we were calling it like the fun holocaust. It was like <laughs> it felt very holocausty but like kind of cool and yeah, fun. Silly. There's techno playing, you're getting yeah. clean, but it feels very like Auschwitzy because they're like spraying you down <laughs> with Auschwitzy. Ho- but yeah. it's definitely the closest I've ever been to like penises that I'm not fucking. Yeah. 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 You know, and like they're all around you. I don't like that. And is there, but is that the only shower you're getting over four days? Because that playa sand is, is no, dust, I, the only one no I got. Joke. No, I have an RV. I own an RV and we, oh. I shower in the RV. You do your own showers yeah, there. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I don't let Natasha in. Yeah. No, no you showered in out. my, you showered in my shower. I, t- I took a shower in there, yeah. but I would always like to go to Dr. Bronner because it felt. <laughs> Felt so nice to have that many dicks around you. <laughs> it was just a nice feel. It's I mean, yeah. it's really it's dusty there. It is. It's, it, you can't. Oh, have you been? I've been there. I worked on a TV show, and I got to go inside and see. So what you the camp felt like that? Like. Okay. Wow. I'm not participated in it, but Wait, I've seen the camp. You went to Burning Man for mm-hmm. the show. Mm-hmm. So that as uh, it was called the Hitchhiker Chronicles, and we picked up hitchhikers. And one episode is we went to Burning Man, and so oh, they whoa. let us in, and I got to just drive around and pick people up and interview them throughout the course. That's of the cool. Day. Is it that was out? Really I want to see yeah. that. It aired a million years ago after Hurt Burt, Burt Kreischer's show on FX. It's yeah. Like, oh it's yeah, like I old, remember old, that. Old, yeah. Okay. But it was cool. I liked it. I that's mean, there's a cool experience. Yeah, to see like that's the, the perfect floats. way to see it. Yeah, because <laughs> I wouldn't. The only reason the deterrent for me is the the weather. It's so hot. It's gnarly. There's no and, no question. And but sometimes yeah, it's really so cold. Love it, right? I love yeah. it. You but love at it. night, sometimes I had like my my toes were numb when I was working in the cafe at night one of the years. Like so, it's like kind of uninhabitable. Yeah, it gets like super it's hot tough. and then super cold some years and. It's do just you, way too dusty. Do you go, wait, the you don't dust go every year, though. Terrible. Right? Oh, no. But Moshe's already pitching it to me, like, now in February. I want to bring the kid. It's okay if he goes. I want to wow. bring the kid. Not this year. A lot of people do. I think it'd be a, what is You want to bring her this year? I'll bring her this year, next year, whatever. What's the thrill for you there? For me, like, I think that the, um, that I, I like extreme experiences. I like weird, I like weird shit. That's why I like comedy. I like to laugh. I like things to be weird and odd and odd people. Mm-hmm. That's why I like comedians. And it's one of the highest concentrations of like bizarre people and spectacle and things to do. Less so every year. What do you do? What do you do there when you go? Coke, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. No, I um. What I, do you do? Well, he works. Well, I used to work there. I used to volunteer there for a oh. long time. What, what do you do you, as a volunteer? Yeah, I would. I would be the person at the front gate that would check the cars as they were coming in. Really? Yeah, and and I did that for a year. I don't do that anymore. But I did it for years just to be a part of the community there, uh-huh. and I would like that we would get showers as a result of that. We'd That's get cool. fed and stuff. And but how long ago was that though? When I stopped doing it, like three or four years ago. So wouldn't you have people be like, "Oh, hey, your motion." Yeah, driver. that's yeah. why I stopped. Eventually, <laughs> it was like it just felt too weird. It yeah. was like people would start to recognize me more and more, and I was just like, because I wanted to be like a part of the community. Yeah. And then when you're getting recognized, you don't feel that way. You right. feel like, okay, this is there's no point in doing this. That's when I realized that Moshe has like a small fantasy of being a cop. <laughs> <laughs> like he likes like telling people what to do a little bit, and like like I don't have that at all. Like I don't want to ever tell someone they're in trouble. I yeah, know. that's yeah. also why I quit because I said, but well, whatever. What I do when I go there is I I generally you're like the the gatekeeper. I like to like wander around, take in the the artwork, take mm-hmm. in the spectacle of it, uh, uh, meet people, and just have sunsets weird, beautiful if you bike mm-hmm. around. Just have weird interactions. We have really? weird interactions. See people on the extreme fringes of life and society, and then at night I go we go dancing or we'll go listen to. Jazz. There's so many things to do. And then where will you crash? 
I already. have an R- my RV. Oh, you have your RV. And yeah. can you go brown and can you pee and poo in your RV? Because I, I, I remember can. there were porta potties and that yeah. looked terrible. Portos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would hate that. I can go brown. We did that yeah. though. The first year I went, I had to go in the portos. No. And I was pregnant one year. No. And it was really rough. In the heat? Yeah. Oh, So wait, Natasha. is your RV, um, you own an RV? I, I own did an it RV. to show him I was wow. fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I own an RV and it was and it's it's oh, it's the most Im- it's literally the most important thing in my life. Do you have people like when you <laughs> so there's air conditioning on that? Yeah. Do you have people when you have an RV and you're at an event like I know nothing about it. Yeah. Are people knocking on it like, hey, can I crash with you? Is that like a yeah? Like I brought a I brought a friend last year and he was in a tent and I would let him come in and shower once in a while. But you don't have people harassing you because you have the RV. like random people. Yeah. No. no most no, people no, have no. their their stuff their situation. situated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they spend. I mean, there's people who spend all year preparing a float or like yeah. right. They prepare artwork that's yeah. movable and it goes along the playa. And yeah. People they really prepare the for end? this. They said like the man, like this right? last year there was a there was a uh, an installation that was like it was crazy it looked like a peter pan like fantasy house and Mm -hmm. it was like three stories tall it was probably it was probably 50 feet tall i mean it was gigantic and there were towers it looked like literally like from a movie set of a peter pan film yeah and it was like super intricate old like magical looking house you climb a spiral staircase and there'd be books up in the t- in the top little attic and then downstairs you'd know you'd open something and there'd be like a a looking glass with a you know it was the most fantastical thing you've ever seen and i saw this crazy like uh live jazz performance in the center courtyard of this thing i mean it literally just looked like a, a castle that they had built and at the end of, on thursday night they set the whole fucking thing on Dude, fire you need to look up las fallas Oh yeah, so, yeah. There's a, there, first of all in Spain, there's festivals every week. For uh, yes, everything. totally. But Las Fallas is a special one in Valencia, and they have these build these spectacular floats, and everyone's partying and the whole thing, and they all go to this one square, and then they set them all on fire. And it's it's it is a it is a spectacle. So that I think okay. So Europe and 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 the old world does this better than America. America. Mm-hmm. Uh, the problem I have with America uh, is that when people moved here, when immigrants moved to this country, the 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 charge was get rid of your old archaic yes. ways and yeah. become American. Right. And as a result of that, there's some positives to that. The negatives to that were that we got rid of all the, our rituals. Yeah. And you go to a place like Europe, or you go to like uh you know uh, the old world, and there's still these crazy rituals, and that's what Burning Man. And to me, there's a lot of power in that, that they've created this. The only people that have rituals is hippies yeah. in, in, this, in, in American society. Uh, for all the negative things you can say about hippies, they've kind of created a worldview where they've like recreated the old rituals. Like, you know, yeah. the, uh, that, uh, and so that to me is a big part of what's fun about Burning Yeah, Man. that's cool. I, yeah. I can respect that. It's a pretty rad, I mean, it's a far out there thing. And it's it nice. It's cathartic. There's that place you put, you know, your friends who have died, you put your... Th- Right letters or what? It's it's lovely. Yeah. Tell us. Uh, there was some, there was some Brody stuff out oh, there. Oh, cool! And that I don't know who put it there, but we would walk and be like, "Oh my God!" There's like Brody stuff. Because yeah. every year, the the Saturday night, the big party is they burn the man, and it's the most spectacular firework display mm-hmm. I've ever seen in my life by a factor of probably a hundred. You know, like Fourth of July. I've never. It's nothing. I can't even watch Fourth of July fireworks because anymore. of how spectacular it's it is. so over the top and insane. There's gas bombs. There's like diesel bombs where like you know a, a fifty foot fireball is just like a exploding and then there's this crazy fireworks it's a big crazy insane party but sunday night they build this thing called the temple which is where people uh, mm-hmm. uh they go and they put the memories of the people that they've lost in the last year and it's a really i'll tell you what's powerful about it is you see how much loss there is in a community of just seventy thousand people and then you start to realize like oh this is just seventy thousand random people like everybody's experiencing this level of loss with nowhere to put it yeah. because we don't have ritual because we we've we've done away with a lot of that we don't have anywhere to put our loss and so you see like wow all this whole community is leave and you and like I said it was a trip I would walk into this temple and see like friends that have passed of mine and like I wonder who put that here and then like there was you know like I said a Brody cut out and there was like somebody had printed it up and um anyway and then they set that on fire and that's not really a party that's like pretty much silent there's a silent on sunday night nobody parties they just set this thing on fire it's a pretty beautiful experience yeah it's nice that is yeah that's it is nice well hearing you talk about that is nice but i still have to say the festival has never 
moved me. <laughs> right. It's always kind of failed to like get do it for me. But that well, also makes sense though, right? Like makes sense that it's, it's like the whole thing of somebody obsessed or, or moved, let's say even by a band. Right. And you hear it and you're like, yeah. Yeah, they're good. They're yeah. Fine. I totally get that. It's yeah. not for everybody. I'm like an old school raver. Like that was my childhood. Yeah, my so teenage were. years were raves and like, and so to me, it's like, it's, it's a little slice of that old counterculture that I was into in the nineties yeah. that kind of doesn't exist anywhere else anymore. Because yeah. of the fucking internet. But there is no music. Like the music at Burning Man is what's kind of annoying about it because it's all techno. It's not like it's a music festival where there's bands right. and stuff. Right. But you love that shit. I right. love that shit. Yeah. 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 Hi, Jeans. Did you like that highlight? Well, you can watch an entire episode here or more highlights here. But definitely, definitely subscribe here. That way you can, you know, get the latest videos as they drop. For real, four strokes.